Hello everybody, and welcome to the first episode of Lost in the Farmer's Market's Garden Shorts, where we talk about a specific plant every video episode, and we cover its details, and reasons why you should have it in your garden. Now today's specimen, as you can see, is an evening scented flowering tobacco. I'm focusing on the flowers because against the white siding, well, they get lost. The scientific name for this plant is Nicotiana sylvestris. Its common name is woodland tobacco or evening scented tobacco. Sylvestris means of the woods in, Latin, in botanical Latin. It's actually named for Jean Nicot, French ambassador of Portugal. He sent it back to France in 1559 as a medicine. Now, those of you who know about nicotine addiction, you understand that that was one heck of a medicine. Interestingly, it is possible, genetically, that this is a parent of Nicotiana tobaccum, or smoking tobacco, the thing that has caused a lot of trouble in the United States and worldwide. It is considered a short-lived perennial, and it is native to the Andes region of Argentina and Bolivia, making it a South American plant. It is native to the New World, our continent, but not native to our region. Though through trade and distribution of its copious amounts of seeds, it has a distribution far greater than it could have ever had by itself. Now, in case you're wondering, nicotine is a chemical defense. It is actually a neurotoxin that is designed to kill insects, much like caffeine in the coffee bean is actually designed to kill any insect that might chew on it. While, ironically, it makes humans pretty darn high. <laughs> we have a good time with that caffeine. Well, nicotine is bad for us, too. It gives certain neurological effects, but ultimately it forms an addiction. And addiction is always bad. Now, why do you want this in your garden? The night blooming flowers are, are especially scented at night. Now I did say night blooming. These flowers that you see that are open, opened last night. And they stay open once they're open, they don't close. And when the temperature drops, the scents in the flowers volatilize and become aromatic so you can smell it and this is to attract moths to pollinate the plant usually something like a hummingbird moth which if you see one of those things at night that's a big moth but also they may attract hummingbirds which is a win-win for any garden scenario overall this specimen is two years old I planted them as little plants last year. They have got pulped by the winter or so I thought, and they've come back stronger than ever. And uh, I don't think my strawberries are too happy. But that's all we've got for this episode. Hopefully you like this. Um, comment, and there'll be a link to the blog. And keep them growing, folks.